Hey there, welcome back to our channel MixVid. Today we dive deep into the mysteries of North Sentinel Island. Imagine, if you will, a tiny speck of land floating in the vast Bay of Bengal, a stone's throw away from the southernmost tip of India. This is North Sentinel Island, an enigma wrapped in a riddle swathed in the azure cloak of the Indian Ocean. Its lush greenery and white sandy beaches may seem inviting, but appearances can be deceiving. This is no ordinary island, it is home to one of the world's last uncontacted tribes, the Sentinelese. The term uncontacted is not to be taken lightly here. The Sentinelese have lived in complete isolation for possibly thousands of years. Untouched by the tides of civilization that have washed over the rest of the globe, they have their own language, their own customs, and their own way of life, all of which remain largely unknown to the outside world. However, this isolation hasn't come without a price. The Sentinelese are fiercely protective of their homeland to the point of hostility. Attempts to contact or approach them have been met with a barrage of arrows, a clear sign of their desire to be left alone. Their hostility towards outsiders is not without reason, as history is littered with instances of indigenous populations being decimated by diseases brought by outsiders. The Indian government, recognizing their wish for isolation and the potential danger of contact, has made it illegal to approach the island. This legal protection, along with their own hostility, has allowed the Sentinelese to continue their way of life undisturbed. North Sentinel Island, a place shrouded in mystery and danger. As we delve deeper into the history and stories of this island and its inhabitants, we invite you to join us on this journey of discovery. Strap in because we're just getting started. The Sentinelese people, a tribe untouched by modern civilization. These words encapsulate the stark reality of a group of individuals living a life that is as distant from ours as it possibly could be. Nestled in the heart of the Bay of Bengal on North Sentinel Island, the Sentinelese tribe has managed to resist the tide of progress that has swept across the globe, maintaining a way of life that has remained essentially unchanged for thousands of years. The Sentinelese are a hunter-gatherer society subsisting on what the land and the sea provide. They fish, hunt, and gather wild plants. Their tools are simple, made from materials nature provides, stone, bone, and wood. They live in small temporary huts and appear to have no knowledge of agriculture. Their world is the island they inhabit and they are the masters of their domain. What sets the Sentinelese apart from other tribes is not just their isolation, but also their fierce defense of it. They have consistently and violently rejected any attempts at contact from the outside world. Their language remains a mystery, undeciphered and unique, adding another layer of enigma to their already intriguing existence. This lack of contact has also preserved their health. The Sentinelese have no known diseases, a testament to their robustness and the benefits of their isolation. They are a living testament to a way of life that most of humanity has long since abandoned. It's fascinating to imagine the world through the eyes of the Sentinelese, a world without the internet, without electricity, without the conveniences we take for granted. A world where survival is not a given, but something to be fought for every day. In the end, we are left with more questions than answers. Who are the Sentinelese really? How have they managed to resist the encroachment of the modern world for so long? And perhaps most importantly, what can their existence teach us about our own? The Sentinelese, a tribe frozen in time, fiercely defending their way of life. The Sentinelese are a living testament to the power and resilience of the human spirit, a reminder of a past we have all but forgotten, and perhaps a harbinger of a future we are yet to understand. The history of this island is as intriguing as its present. Let's rewind to the 1800s, an era of exploration and colonial endeavors. North Sentinel Island, remote and enigmatic, was not immune to this global curiosity. The Sentinelese, however, were not welcoming to outsiders, a trait that remains to this day. The British Empire, in its expansive reach, set its sights on the island. A colonial officer of note, Maurice Vidal Portman, took it upon himself to civilize the Sentinelese. But Portman's endeavors were met with staunch resistance. The Sentinelese, unyielding in their defense of their home, responded with arrows and spears. This was not a people to be tamed or coerced. Portman's attempts to integrate the Sentinelese into the colonial fold were not only unsuccessful but harmful. His interference disrupted the tribe's way of life and exposed them to diseases to which they had no immunity. Many Sentinelese fell ill, some even perished. The tribe's hostility towards outsiders, already well-founded, only deepened. 
This unfortunate chapter in the island's history serves as a stark reminder of the consequences of forced assimilation. The Sentinelese, having experienced the destructive impact of foreign intrusion firsthand, grew more determined to preserve their isolation. Fast forward to today, the Sentinelese remain one of the few uncontacted tribes in the world. Their fierce defense of their home and way of life has ensured their continued existence, albeit in isolation. This isolation, however, is not a sign of backwardness or primitiveness. It is a testament to their resilience, their survival instinct, and their right to self-determination. In the grand tapestry of human history, the Sentinelese stand as a stark contrast to the narrative of globalization and interconnectedness. Their story is a poignant reminder of the diversity of human experiences and the myriad ways in which societies evolve and adapt. A history of invasion and intrusion has left the Sentinelese wary of the outside world, but their story is not one of victimhood but of survival, resilience, and the indomitable spirit of the human race. The Story of John Allen Chow A Tale of Curiosity and Tragedy In the year 2018, the world was captivated by a story that seemed to belong more in the annals of historical exploration than in the 21st century. It was the story of John Allen Chow, an American missionary with a burning desire to spread the Christian gospel to the uncontacted Sentinelese tribe. Born in Alabama and raised in Washington State, Chow was a fervent Christian. He was also an adventure enthusiast. He combined these two passions into a singular goal to make contact with the Sentinelese people and introduce them to Christianity. He prepared meticulously for his expedition studying anthropology and linguistics. He even undertook survival training and wilderness first aid courses. Chow was well aware of the risks, but believed the spiritual salvation of the Sentinelese people was worth it. In November of 2018, Chow embarked on his fateful journey. He hired local fishermen to take him close to the island then paddled the rest of the way in a kayak. He tried to communicate with the Sentinelese using Xhosa, a language he thought might be similar to theirs. He also brought gifts such as a football and fish, hoping to establish a friendly rapport. However, his attempts at contact were met with hostility. The Sentinelese, who have a long history of violent resistance to outsiders, attacked him with arrows. Chow narrowly escaped, but he was undeterred. He wrote in his journal, I think it's worth it to declare Jesus to these people. He returned to the island the next day. Sadly, Chow's determination proved fatal. The fishermen who had helped him reported seeing the Sentinelese dragging Chow's body across the beach. His death sparked international controversy, raising questions about the ethics of contacting isolated tribes and the rights of such tribes to live undisturbed. Many criticized Chow's mission as reckless and disrespectful of the Sentinelese's desire for isolation. Others mourned the loss of a man who in their eyes was simply trying to share his faith. Chow's story is a tragic one, but beyond the tragedy there is a larger lesson. The Sentinelese have chosen isolation for reasons we may never fully understand. To respect their choice is to acknowledge their right to self-determination. It's a matter of human rights of respecting diversity and cultures different from our own. Intrusions like Chow's not only endanger the lives of the intruders, but also risk introducing diseases to which the Sentinelese have no immunity. This could decimate their population, a risk too great to take. John Allen Chow's story serves as a sobering reminder of the dangers of intruding upon this isolated tribe. His tale of curiosity and tragedy offers a stark warning against the well-intentioned, but potentially devastating consequences of contact. It's a lesson we would do well to remember. So, what's the legal status of North Sentinel Island and what does the future hold for its inhabitants? Well, North Sentinel Island, nestled in the Bay of Bengal, is legally Indian territory. But it's not just any piece of land under the Indian jurisdiction. The Indian government's stance on the island and its indigenous inhabitants, the Sentinelese, is one of non-interference and respect for their desire to remain isolated. The Sentinelese are among the last uncontacted people in the world, and India has recognized their right to live as they have for centuries, free from the trappings of modern civilization. To ensure their protection, the Indian government has enacted laws to prohibit any contact with the Sentinelese. It's illegal to approach within three miles of the island, and photography or video recording of the tribe is strictly forbidden. These laws serve to shield the Sentinelese from outside influences and diseases to which they have no immunity. 
But the future of North Sentinel Island and its people is anything but certain. The Sentinelese's isolation, while it has protected them so far, may also leave them vulnerable to threats they can't foresee or understand. Climate change is a looming specter. Rising sea levels pose a significant threat to low-lying islands, and North Sentinel is no exception. The Sentinelese with their hunter-gatherer lifestyle are intimately tied to their environment. Any significant changes could disrupt their way of life or even make their island home uninhabitable. Illegal fishing is another potential threat. Despite the laws, some fishermen venture close to the island, drawn by the rich marine life in the surrounding waters. This not only risks unwanted contact with the Sentinelese, but also depletes the resources they depend on. The future of North Sentinel Island and its people hangs in a delicate balance. The Indian government's protective laws are a crucial first step, but constant vigilance and respect for the Sentinelese's autonomy are key to ensuring their survival in the years to come. North Sentinel Island, a reminder of our diverse and complex world. As we delve deeper into the 21st century, the story of North Sentinel Island serves as a stark reminder of the vast human tapestry that weaves our planet together. The Sentinelese people, with their unique way of life, represent a facet of humanity that is as intriguing as it is rare. Their isolation, a testament to their resilience and a symbol of their sovereignty, is a story that needs respect rather than intrusion. The tale of North Sentinel Island isn't just about an isolated tribe on a remote island. It's a narrative that mirrors the broader contradictions of our contemporary society. In an age where globalization is the norm, where cultures merge and borders seem to blur, the Sentinelese stand as a stark contrast. They are a reflection of an ancient world, a world that existed before the advent of technology and modern conveniences. This contrast, this clash between the old and the new, raises questions that aren't easy to answer. How do we balance the curiosity and the need to explore with the respect for the sovereignty of isolated cultures? How do we ensure that in our quest for knowledge we do not trample upon the rights and the traditions of others? The story of John Allen Chow is a tragic illustration of this conflict. A young man driven by his beliefs found himself on the wrong side of this delicate balance. His tale is a cautionary one, reminding us of the dire consequences that can ensue when respect for cultural boundaries is overlooked. In preserving the sovereignty of the Sentinelese people, we're not just protecting a tribe, we're safeguarding a unique piece of human heritage. Their isolation is their strength, their shield against the onslaught of the modern world. It's a choice we must honor, even as we navigate the complex terrain of the 21st century. In our rapidly changing world, North Sentinel Island stands as a testament to humanity's diverse heritage. We've journeyed together through the intriguing story of North Sentinel Island, a place of mystery and inscrutability, home to the Sentinelese tribe, a people untouched by modern civilization. We contemplated their history of isolation, a testament to their resilience and adaptability in a world that's constantly changing. We delved into the tale of John Allen Chow, a tragic story of a man seeking to connect, but ultimately meeting a tragic end. We questioned the ethics of his actions and the sovereignty of the Sentinelese people. We also discussed the legal status and future of North Sentinel Island, a topic fraught with debate and conflicting interests. The balance between preserving the tribe's way of life and the curiosity of the outside world is a delicate one requiring careful consideration and respect for the tribe's autonomy. These are not just stories of an island or a tribe or a man. They are broader narratives about humanity, about isolation and connection, about the clash and interplay of old and new, about the value of life and the respect for others' rights and freedoms. Throughout this journey, we've explored the unknown, questioned the known, and hopefully gained a deeper understanding of this unique corner of our world. We hope this exploration has sparked your curiosity, challenged your perceptions, and above all, expanded your understanding of the world we live in. We want to say thank you. Thank you for taking this journey with us, for investing your time and attention in exploring these stories. Your curiosity and desire to learn make these explorations possible. And so we invite you to continue this journey with us. There's a world full of stories waiting to be discovered. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating stories. Stay curious and we'll see you in the next video.